Hi, I'm Tim Miller. I'm the director of Terminator Dark Fate. We've got Arnold back, we've got Linda back, and we've got a whole host of new characters that are gonna take the story of Terminator in a new direction. The film was very hard to make. Thousands of visual effects shots done by hundreds of artists all around the world. One of the most important things for us is that whatever we do here in visual effects looks the same way we see it and live it and approve it as it does when it gets to the big screen. And to do that, you need a very high accuracy in the way color is represented and know that it's going to translate to all the different mediums that happen once it leaves the building. The visual effects scope is, is pretty huge. We have everything from our traditional well, wire removal and paint outs from our stunt work to adding CG characters, in some cases in enhancements for characters, to full CG planes for this giant battle. Having to put all that stuff together and review it every day has been a, a huge effort. Color is incredibly important in the visual effects process because in a film where we're making a lot of CG enhancements to what we've shot, just getting them to sit in with what we originally shot the way the DP intended, uh, it's incredibly important to, to follow every little bit of color all the way through the process. We have completed over 800 visual effects shots and 1,200 post vis shots. We have had a, a team size of about 12 people, and in order to maintain accuracy between workstations and artists, we've relied heavily on ISO products. The CG279 is really the workhorse for us. It's a perfect monitor for a visual effects pipeline, and when you're on a movie of this size, it's 100% critical that you get your color right. I've actually been using ISO professionally for the last maybe three and a half years, and I've become a huge fan of the CG318 and now the CG319, obviously because it's 4K display, and, and and, and the biggest issue is color and the fact that I can rely on it every day when I come to work. The best part about the ISO hardware is that it self-calibrates. And as a supervisor, that's critical because you want to know that what you're looking at is perfect, is color accurate, and is sharp and consistent. We're also using the Prominence HDR color grading monitor from ISO. And the reason why we use this monitor in our review suites is to replicate P3 color space. P3 is what's being used in theaters, and it's also what's being used as a grading color space at Company 3 for the DI. Being able to anticipate what you see in theaters is critical, especially on a film of this size. There was a lot of effort put into the story and the filming and the post-production of the film. Everybody so enthusiastic about the project, uh, it was a joy. These monitors are fantastic and the color fidelity is amazing. Thank you so much, Izo. You made everyone's work here so much easier and we hope you're proud of the work that your monitors enabled.